The last time we discussed Roland Schwartz's new mobile radio tester platform, the CMX500. I'm joined again by Christian. Christian, welcome back. Hello, Andreas. Um, so last time we discussed um, in detail the overall setup, the hardware configuration, possible hardware configuration and such. And at the end, you mentioned that the CMX is controlled through a web GUI. So I'm really curious about that. So can you explain it a little bit more to us? Yeah, of course. So the new software environment, what we would like to um, introduce here is called CM Squares. And that's a user interface where we are putting together all applications into one single user interface. Oh, interesting. Yep. And uh, that is what, what I would like to show to you today. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's called CM Square. So you could see it as one single place where all the measurements happen. And uh, whatever you would like to do. So we have uh, things like RF testing, call box testing, RF parametric testing, protocol testing, end to end testing, pre compliance testing for RF. So all these kind of um, R&D applications, they are really um, under the CM Square software environment. So if you know how to operate one, then you know how to operate all of them. Okay. Yeah. So CM Squares for R&D, what we also have, um, if it comes to device test, is our contest environment that is very popular for conformance testing. It doesn't matter whether it's um, protocol conformance, RF conformance, LBS testing, but that's all summarized in our contest environment. Okay, so conformance, uh, doesn't matter which conformance part, is still on a contest, which we use already for LTE, but for 5G device testing in an R&D environment, we're using now CM squares. Exactly. So why is it called CM squares? That's the big question. And the squares you saw with the applications here are yeah, summarized in our web user interface. So if you connect to the measurement device here, you will get squares as entry points okay. for your measurement application. And with those squares here, you can do your measurements on the device you have connected to the tester. Okay, so I understood all I need is a web browser, uh, can run on a desktop PC, can run on a laptop, can run on a tablet, can even run on a phone. I mean, I don't know if that's a suitable way to look into that, but uh, theoretically possible, right? So if you, if we have a web GUI, uh, a web browser right now, which we have, you could show me that environment. Exactly. Okay, let's do it. So let's see. We go with our browser here to the IP address of the of the measurement device here, so to the CMX 500, and uh, the CMX 500 shows you the squares, your starting points to do the testing. So in this case, we have a couple of squares um, for RF testing, NSA, SA. So, but what we want to do as a, at the beginning, as a first step is we want to configure our tester um, to simulate the right um, network configuration so that you can do your tests. So the really center point of our um, R&D testing environment is our um, device under test, which you would like to test. So it's so-called the uh, DOT-centric environment. So it's not tester-centric, it's DOT-centric. Whatever we are configuring, we are starting with the device you would like to test and not with our tester. And whatever would happen um, during that, that testing process, like say, okay, um, I have a network emulation running and I switch on my device. So in case I uh, attach happens, I would see that in that particular square. Exactly. Okay. So in that in that DOT square here, you would see the current status of the mobile. You would see whether there is a data transfer going on. Okay. And so on. So, but before we do that, uh, of course, I need a network emulation. Where, which square I would use for that? So, of course, we uh, use the network square. Okay. So the network square is the square where you can start and add a PLM. And on top of the PLM, um, you are adding a tracking area. And with this tracking area, you can um, add LTE or NR cells. So the um, LTE cell, for example, you would need in a 5G NR NSA um, simulation, of course, as an anchor cell. Yeah, which, yeah. All, which all networks right now are non-standalone mode deployment. So we would start with the LTE cell, of course. That makes sense. Exactly. So we have this cell here. And then, of course, an NR cell to be simulated here. and 
we give you some um, default parameterization of those cells, but if your device is not uh, matching that, you can configure your cells. Of course. Okay. Yeah. So how, how, can how would you... I do that? Exactly. So I would just simply click the cell which I would like to configure. Mm -hmm. And then I go for the duplex mode here. I go for an FDD or a TDD cell. Depending on that, you would get um, the bands offered. Um, so you would select your operating band. You would select your operating bandwidth, for example, so 20 megahertz maybe. Yep. And a lot of other parameterization um, parameters you could do on the LTE cell. Okay. So for the NR cell, in the NSA setup, you would click the NR cell. Mm -hmm. And you make up your mind and uh, select a frequency band, for example, um, a carrier bandwidth, so whatever, 50 megahertz, 100 megahertz, depending on um, the bandwidth you would like to test. And uh, after that, maybe also a center frequency. Um, you could choose here and okay. enable. So I see you're choosing system. band N78. Uh, that's, of course, a TDD band, so 3.5 gigahertz, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Um, that's because like all the deployments for FR1, you brought us an FR1 test setup, um, are TDD deployments in that case, right? So there's no FDD, FR1 deployment as of now? At the moment. Okay, so, um, and I see you brought us a device. So with all that, um, if we switch on the cells, um, which I guess we have to do. Yeah, so from off to on. Okay. So and as soon as that's done, I'm basically, the network is up and running, emulated by the CMX and CMW500. Exactly. exactly. And now that we have a device, we would be ready to test that device, right? We just have to switch it on. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So interesting, Christian. I, I really like what I see, um, and I would love to test this device now. But um, that's, of course, a topic for another video in our video series, Demystifying 5G.